what's up guys it's Grab Phoenix back with another video today and today is a video that I've been meaning to remake for quite some time and that is actually my homemade fruit fly culture media in the last video which if you guys want to check it out and see the differences there'll be a link right up here so you guys can go check it out but in the last video I didn't actually add vinegar it was just the cinnamon and stuff so I figured today I'm going to update you with my brand new recipe and all that I put in there just to provide your fruit flies with the most nutrition for them to grow up and feed your frogs. Now before I get this video started, I wanted to let you guys know that if you are interested in a graphic phoenix or alpha reptiles or just a reptile shirt in general, you guys can go into the link down below and check out a couple different shirt designs that I have made. If you live in the States, shipping is about $5 maybe ten dollars if you're far away so if you guys are interested go check that out enough with that why don't we get started with the media in order to make fruit fly cultures you're going to need a couple things to just get your feet off the ground and provide the very base media those things are your cups you're also going to need polyfiber lids for those cups that way the fruit flies will be able to breathe but no they will not be able to get out some base mix of fruit fly media this is a mixture of potato flakes we have brewer's yeast and flaxseed as well as some icing sugar vinegar I use white wine vinegar you don't need to use this stuff you can use apple cider vinegar you can use whatever vinegar you need you just need acetic acid this vinegar basically stops your cultures from molding and something I'll also put on is ground cinnamon other things you're going to need is excelsior and or coffee filters this stuff here on you see on screen is really all that you need to make the very base of your media. I like to add several different things to make the mix more nutritious and do better for my flies. The more nutrition you're providing to your flies, the more nutrition you're providing to your animals. So that's the motto that I'm following. I'm basically gut loading my flies and my maggots so that they can be fed to my frogs. Now the extra ingredients I add are commonly available at health food stores, uh, online, you can find them all over the place, but I add spirulina, beetroot powder, paprika, and some ground organic bananas. I have gone over all the ingredients that you're actually going to need, however I'm missing one key ingredient and that is boiling water. You need to make sure it's boiling so that the mashed potatoes fluff up properly. Once you have your cultures laid out, it's pretty easy. I add a quarter cup of both of my mixes, quarter cup of this. This is the nutritional yeast, flax seed, icing sugar, and potato flakes. And that is also the same with the brewer's yeast. I add a quarter cup to that one. Quarter cup to that one. Once I start adding the additives, I don't add a ton to each one, but you can see I have about a, a tablespoon of the ground bananas, and I'm just gonna tap them into each one. And that's all the banana that I use for all my cultures. Spirulina. This stuff is pretty easy to come across, especially in like the health food, organic places. You're gonna find it basically anywhere. It's not super cheap, but I really truly believe that it does help with cultures, so I do not add much. The next thing we're gonna put into the cultures is paprika. This you can find again at any common spice, whatever, like anything you want. You can use any kind of paprika, it'll all be good. This adds carotenoids and uh, helps with red colors. And as you can see, I add five taps to every single culture, and that's all for that. Second to last is the beetroot powder. This is just a Community Naturals, that's like our local, I guess, organic store. This is just their brand. You can use whatever brand you want. But they have one of these little tiny, tiny, tiny spoons. And I add one of those per culture. I think this whole bag of the beetroot powder costed like 7 or $8. And you can see how much we're using per culture. Almost nothing. Last thing we're going to be adding before mixing with hot water is cinnamon. You don't need a ton of this stuff in here because what I actually do is put this on top as well and that helps just with any mold issues that you might encounter. Uh, I know that in my last video I had cinnamon just on top with no vinegar and it actually didn't turn out all that well so this is my revised media mix. Just before we put in the boiling water, I do actually add my white vinegar. Now there's no real secret to how much I add. I kind of just add a splash. Now that we've added the vinegar, it is time for me to go get the boiling water. I'll be right back. This step, you kind of need to work fast because it is boiling and it needs to be hot. 
I just add it to each and every individual culture. A little bit per each one. I might need to add less. I might need to add a little bit more potato flakes. It's hard to say right off the bat. When you tap it down, it should settle. It should not stay in giant clumps. One thing when you're mixing cultures, you wanna check the bottom and make sure that it's actually all mixed in there. As you can see, there is some that could stand to be mixed a little bit better. So once again, I will go through, add a tiny bit more water, because I'm just about there. You guys experiment with what textures you like. Everybody's different. I know some people like it a little drier. Me personally, I like it a little bit wetter. And uh, this will also keep in mind, solidify a little bit more as the potato flakes cool down. So you might have to add a tiny bit more water in, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the other three cultures and come back when I'm all ready to start setting up with the Excelsior and the coffee filters. And we're back. This is about uh, 30, 45 minutes later. The, there is still condensation as you can tell, but the, the cultures themselves are cool enough to where we can move on to finally setting them up with the last things that we need to do. And the last couple steps are very, very simple. We have our cinnamon, and I actually didn't mention this, but this is just yeast. The fruit flies, the adults will feed on that. So what we're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in there. Not much, I know you guys can't really see how much is in there, but not much. We will take a pinch of yeast and sprinkle that in there. The next steps are totally up to you. I personally like to add both coffee filters as well as the um, Excelsior. I know a lot of people out there just do Excelsior. I know some people out there do just coffee filters. But essentially what you're going to do is fold them up into a triangle like that. I squeeze the bottom and twist. Then I put it in the culture. And again, same with this one. Squeeze the bottom, twist. And that part is done now. On the other side of the culture, we have Excelsior here. Excelsior is kind of, uh, I guess, a wood shavings almost. And all I do is just ball it up, pull the coffee filters to one side, and just make sure that this is actually pressed into the ground a little bit, and then fluff out the top. You have now finished your homemade fruit fly culture. To me, this is a lot better than buying the, the very expensive culture medias out there. Obviously, if you're only making one culture a week and you don't really want to bother buying all those different ingredients and going to this much hassle, then it's probably worth you just spending the $10 on the culture powder and making them uh, or even buying them from a local place if you have them available quite commonly. One last step, obviously, and that is labeling it. So these are going to be Melanogasters. This is July 4th. Happy Independence Day to you Americans. Now we must get fruit flies. We're back with our culture of already started fruit flies. All I do is just simply tap, tap the top, open up the lid, and tap maybe 15 or 20 in there. You do not need a ton to start a new culture. They will go pretty easily and will breed rapidly with only about 30, maybe 40 flies per container. And that's it, you guys. It's that easy. You can see they're a nice, rich, dark red color, or brown, I guess, brownie red color, and they have the flies in there. So in about 20 days, the males will be popping, maybe slightly shorter because it's warm right now. The Heidi eyes typically take anywhere from three to five weeks to actually start popping. So I recommend that you make new cultures every week, even if that's just one of whatever kind, because then, a month from now, you'll have pop a culture popping, and then the next week you'll have one, and you see how that kind of goes. That's the schedule that I recommend making your fruit fly cultures in every week. Just set a day, spend 20 minutes, and make your cultures. With that being said, you guys, from me at, right, at Graphic Phoenix Alpha Reptile and Spike, Mr. Passed Out, I want to wish you guys all a happy Independence Day as well 
as I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that about these cultures, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this kind of content, you want to see more dart frog, reptile, plant, awesomeness in the future please click that subscribe button and play ding dong ditch with the doorbell next to it that way you'll get notified every time i go live and post a video for those of you that made it to the very end of this video i know that this video is actually coming out before my reptile room tour i messed up i'm sorry it you know it it i forgot i was busy and and, it, and i didn't film but it's filmed it will be coming out on friday or saturday i haven't really decided yet but uh, one of those days, the new Reptile Room Tour will be posted. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.